Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. Linux cluster on CentOS 6 and 7. Chapter 1, Linux cluster introduction. Main topics. This chapter, chapter 1, will cover this kind of the topics. The cluster types, high availability component, and the cluster infrastructure, and cluster management, and cluster administration tools. Linux cluster introduction. So first one, cluster means cluster means a group of computers, and this kind of computers normally we call member one nodes, and this kind of computers normally work together to fulfill a task. And uh, number two, main cluster types. So there are four kinds of main cluster types: high uh, high performance. Uh, cluster number we say grid computing and the second the storage cluster C uh, high availability cluster number we say just HA and the D load balancing cluster high performance cluster means the collection of the computer resources from multiple the locations to reach a common goal in this case, normally many computers are located in many, the one multiple locations. But this kind of the computers will the reach or fulfill the common goals and the perform the concurrent the calculations using cluster nodes. So the main purpose of this one concurrent concurrent the calculations and the work in parallel to enhance performance of the application so number we say high performance cluster and the refer to as the computational cluster or we can say this one grid computing and this one originated in early 1990s like this for example this one there are many the computer resources in the uh, USA or America and uh, Europe, the Asia and Australia and Africa like this. But uh, even if there are many computers in the multiple locations, but they can they calculate the common goals from many the locations. So using this kind of many computers, we can try to the fulfill the common task storage cluster group of the computers to provide the consistent file system across server in the cluster so normal storage cluster try to can the provide a consistent the file system even if here okay system across the servers and the uh, storage cluster servers can read and uh, write to single shared file system concurrently using this kind of storage cluster. Simplify storage cluster, simplify the storage administration by patching up application to one file system. And uh, can uh, remove the need for redundant copies of application data and simplify backup and register recovers. If we use the storage cluster, we don't need to uh, set up the redundant copies of application the data. And the uh, HA high availability provider storage clustering as well based on Red Hat the GFS2. GFS2 is a kind of file system as the part of the resilient storage. Okay, here, for example, cluster node 1, cluster node 2, cluster node 3. This is a kind of one, the cluster. And each cluster can supply their storage for the client the servers so this kind of servers if the, this storage has a problem then they can access this one or this one without any the termination okay high availability cluster group of computers to support the server applications can reliably utilize with the minimum of the downtime so using high availability we can guarantee this kind of minimum of downtime to the client and uh, how to provide this kind of available services 
the by removing single point of the failure if only one the node to supply the service to the server applications then anytime we can the meet this kind of single point of failure so in this case if we use the high availability high availability cluster then anytime we can remove this point of the uh, single point of failure failover services it means if one cluster node has a uh, uh, failure then anytime we can the fail over our service to another cluster node we can say this kind of features is a fail over should maintain the data integrity of the service using the fail over so if we use the fail over we can guarantee the data integrity of this kind of services and the node failures are invisible from client outside the cluster even if node the failure in cluster node but the client outside don't know this kind of the failures and this one normally say fail of a cluster or just ha cluster so this is a kind of the high availability cluster by the red hat let us support this kind of the service so here cluster client and this kind of cluster client can access this kind of cluster node using the tcp ip network and in this case here one cluster with the four cluster node we can say this one node one node two node three and node four and uh, this kind of each cluster node has the server application for example like a web server apache so even if node 4 is a failure to supply this kind of service but this kind of the cluster uh, client anytime can access node 3 one node 2 one node 1 and this kind of cluster node can access this kind of shared storage using here okay the fibri channel switch or ethernet switch so send will supply this kind of shared storage to this kind of cluster node load balancing cluster okay before i start the load balancing cluster i will uh, show you okay if you are successful to uh, set up a high availability cluster then later you will see this kind of features in the browser in my case i will use three the cluster node node one node two node three and the domain will be chol.com so using this cluster we can supply many the services to the uh, application servers Okay, here we can see the each the detailed information for each cluster node. And the chapter six, I will show you this kind of uh, Linux cluster configuration with the conga. We say normally this is a uh, conga. Later I will uh, explain this one. And the load balancing cluster, the send network service request to multiple node to balance the request load among cluster nodes so using this cluster node we can the balance the request load from client and uh, this load balancing cluster provide the cost effective the scalability using matching the number of the nodes according to load requirement from a uh, client if there are so many the request load from client then we can balance this kind of load using this load balancing cluster if one node becomes inoperative then load balancing software detect this kind of failure and have that redirect the request from the client to other cluster node and the node failures invisible like a ha cluster from client outside the cluster as well and uh, this load balancing cluster normally available with the load balancers so here this is a kind of example so this is a client and this is a load balancer if load balancer receive the load while request from client then this one will balance for each cluster node like this okay in this case there are four cluster node and that each cluster node can access this kind of 
the shared story is in this case is a database servers. HA high availability main component. Okay, number one, cluster infrastructure. So main conference includes three kind things. So here, cluster infrastructure, CMAN, DLM, fencing, and the second, high availability, the service management. So we will use RG manager for this service. And the three, cluster administration tools. For this kind of purpose, in this course, I will introduce this kind of tools, FaceMaker, CCS, and Conga. So cluster infrastructure means that this one will provide the fundamental functions for nodes to work together as a cluster. So fundamental the functions. And uh, using this one, we can supply configuration file management, membership management, and the rock management, especially using the DLL and pensing as well. High availability service management provide a failover service from one cluster node to another cluster node. And the C cluster administration tools. So this is your configuration and measurement tool set up and configure and manage HA for use with the cluster infrastructure component. HA and the service management components and the storage. So in this course, normally we will control this kind of tools. Supplementation conference. So there are three also here. Red Hat GFS2. This is a, a kind of file system. Using this one can provide the cluster file system. So if we want to make the file system on cluster, then we can use this one GFS2. GFS to allow multiple nodes to share storage, okay, here, especially the block level, as if the storage were connected locally to each cluster node. Even if this kind of the block device is separate from cluster node, but the cluster node will think this kind of block device is connected or, uh, like uh, locally. CLVM provides the volume management of cluster storage in the cluster. So to manage the cluster storage, we will use this one. And the load balancer, this is a kind of routing the software, and this will provide HA load balancing fade over in layer 4 and layer 7. Also, this one run in the cluster of the redundant virtual routers. We can use the virtual router as well to use the load algorithm to distribute client request to real servers. Okay, here, HA the cluster structure. So client, this is a cluster client, and uh, they can access this kind of cluster node using this kind of TCP IP network. And uh, here, cluster node, node one to switch. So this is a uh, one cluster. One cluster has the four cluster node. So here, infrastructure, CMAN, DRM, fencing, or CCS. Service manager, we will use the RG manager. Shared storage, we will use the, this kind of technology, GFS2 and the CLVM. And the configuration, the administration tools like Conga, FaceMaker, or the CCS. We will cover this kind of topics in this course. Cluster infrastructure. This infrastructure will, I will told you the basic functions of the group of computers and the discount computers number we call node or members. And if a cluster is formed using the cluster infrastructure, other conference can be used to shoot the clustering need. And the example setting up the cluster for sharing files on GFS, so GFS2 or CLVM. And also this one can the supply the disk and the fade away as well. Cluster inference functions like this, cluster management, rock management, fencing, and cluster configuration management. CMAN, cluster management, this is a, a distributed cluster manager. So we need to start this service to manage our cluster service. To, and this CMAN must run in all nodes in the cluster. And the CMAN normally accomplishes cluster management for cluster quorum and cluster membership in HA cluster. About the quorum in chapter 9, I will explain about this one. 
and the semen normally does the trace the membership and cluster quorum and the cluster quorum normally can be used for this kind of things so spilled brain the conditions so membership normally semen will monitor message from other cluster node then will check the memberships uh, current membership status cluster quorum by monitoring the count of cluster node we normally say this one is a quorum and to prevent the occurrence of spilled brain conditions so what is the spilled brain condition this one spilled brain condition it means the condition where two instances of the same cluster are running without knowledge they don't know each other of other cluster instance and that you, because of this one can cause the corrupted cluster integrity so we have to our uh, prevent our system from spilled from condition using cluster quorum so here the semen and the drm so, so each the semen okay cluster manager cluster manager cluster manager cluster manager and the, this cluster manager will control this one kind of thing gfs the file system and clvm also and the semen normally will access this kind of shell storage using the send so each cluster manager we have to use the c manager to supply clustering service with shared storage rock management this is a command cluster infrastructure service and the rock management normally provide the mechanism what kind of for other cluster infrastructure conference to synchronize their access to share the resource so normally rack manager normally will the control this one okay access to shared storage drm means the distribute the rock manager run in each cluster node so if you want to uh, start the clustering the service normally you also have to start drm manager in each cluster node and this rock management also is uh, distributed across all load in the cluster gfs the global file system uses rocks from the rock manager to synchronize access to file system metadata and share store so gfs also must be controlled by rock management clvm also uses the rock from the rock manager to synchronize update information to LVM logical volume management and the volume groups on shared story so CLVM also will use the rock management to control this kind of volume groups fencing what is the fencing fencing means this connection of node from one cluster's shared storage if some or one the cluster node has a failure and then in this case we need to disconnect this kind of failed the node from cluster share storage in this case we can use the fencing so cut off input output to ensure data integrity and the fencing can be performed through the fence d demon the demon so we have to start the fence demon if we want to use the cluster service maybe if you start the cluster manager then cluster manager also will call this demon as well cman the notify the failure of the node so normally cman will the detect this kind of failure of node then fancy demon fans the failed node using fencing device so fencing program decide which fencing method to use in the cluster configuration so in this case we have to check this configuration file it is cluster slash cluster com fencing method there are two types of fencing agent by uh, uh, fencing agent and fencing device so normally cluster manager will the monitor this kind of cluster node if cluster manager detect the failure then notify to fencing program then fencing program will call the fencing agent fencing agent also will use a fencing device to fence the failed cluster node so we normally say it's a fence if the fencing device is successful fencing the failed cluster node then fence program also here notify to cluster manager 
fencing method how fencing normally store stories and the storage the fencing or other fencing method there are many kinds of fencing method so here first one power fencing is the stories so the node one okay and the each node has this kind of program fencing agent and the fencing program and after that if the cluster may detect the failed the cluster node then we will use the fence uh, device in this case power controller is a fencing device if a power controller received the command from the fencing the agent to uh, fence some node in this case node 3 then the fencing power controller will the turn off to the connection for node 3 this is a power fencing Fibri channel switch fencing is the same. Okay, your power uh, fencing the agent and the uh, program. So if the scene manager detect the failure of the cluster node, then in this case we will use the, this kind of uh, Fibri channel switch. This one is a fencing switch. So for example, this one, this connection will be disabled by Fibri channel switch to fence node three. We need to say this one favorite channel switching fencing. CCS cluster configuration the system. So this is a, a main cluster management tool using the CRI. So CCS normally will use only the CRI. Using CCS, we can manage the cluster configuration and provide the configuration information to other cluster conference in the cluster. And the CCS also must run in each cluster node. And you have to make sure cluster configuration file in each cluster node must be up to date by CCS. And the CCS normally propagate this update information from one node to other cluster node. So here, each there are four cluster node on in the one the cluster so each cluster node has the ccs 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 and this ccs will check the cluster configuration file this one etc cluster slash cluster conf and if one node update the this file then the ccs will the propagate this configuration file to i don't know here for example node 1 2 node 2 node 3 and node 4 so using ccs we can configure and manage the clustering service and the cluster configuration file this one etc cluster slash cluster and this is xml file for cluster configuration and if you check the cluster configuration file we can find this kind of section cluster name cluster, fence device, and manage uh, resources. And each the, this kind of section include this kind of information. RG manager for service manager. So after we are successful to start the cluster service, we needed to supply service management using RG manager. So this RG manager will the manage the provide the fade of capabilities for collection of cluster resources and normally we call this one service or resource group or resource trees so normally RG manager will have this kind of process and agent to work for RG manager fate of domain service police resource trees and the service operation behavior and virtual machine behavior resource actions and event script so each this kind of process and agent has this kind of the meanings fade of domain what is the fade of this is order the subset of the members so this fade of domain is a kind of the service and that uh, each service may be uh, bound to this kind of fade of domains and the fade of domain is useful for cluster customization, not required for operation. So even if you don't create the fade of domain, no problem to use the clustering service. And the fade of domain, the list for fade of domain, the configuration option. So when you configure fade of domain, you need this kind of options: prefer, node, restrict, and unrestrict, 
and the order domain on order domain and fail back like this. In fail of domain part, I will explain this kind of things. So here, cluster client, and this is a kind of one the cluster with the four cluster node. So in this cluster node, we can create this kind of fail of domain. For example, fail of domain one, service web server. And we can create fail domain two. And this one will supply a kind of the database service. So in this case, the node 2, node 3, and node 4 is a kind of uh, member of one, the fail of domain, and node 1, node 2, node 3 is so uh, the members of the fail of domain, this one, okay? Uh, so domain 1, service, the web server. For example, if node 1 is a failure to supply the web server, then the this uh, service will fail over to node 2 or node 3 but node 4 cannot because node 4 does not belong to this favorable domain one and the uh, database also only will uh, work inside node 2 node 3 and node 4 because these three nodes belong to only favorable domain 2 uh, gfs2 the global file system this is a native file system to interface directly with the Linux kernel file system interface. We never say that this one the virtual file system. And the GFA file system can be only the implemented on Red Hat cluster shoot. And the GFS node can be configured managed with the cluster configuration management tool such as CCS Conga FaceMake. So using CCS Conga FaceMake we can create the GFS file system. And the GFA file system normally provides the data sharing among GFS uh, node in the cluster. So in this case, the each cluster node must start the GFS the file system daemon to share this kind of sharing the data. And uh, multiple nodes can share GFA file system same way like a single node can share files on a local file system. And this one must be created on the LVM logical volume is linear or mirrored. Uh, linear is a mirror kind of type of logical uh, LVM types. And, and uh, uh, chapter 11, I will explain the LVM as well. Uh, CLVM, okay, this is a cluster logical volume manager. So this one normally the provide the same capabilities of LVM. So Maybe if we understand the LVM, then it's the same, but only this CLVM is work clustered, okay, in clustered environment. To use a CLVM, we have to start this daemon CLVMD. So this CLVM daemon key component and the daemon to provide clustering extension to standard LVM toolset. So in uh, clustering environment to use the LVM, we have to use this demo and allow LVM to com uh, comments to manage share the story. So similar to LVM to uh, comments. And uh, this demo run in each cluster node and this read LVM metadata update in the cluster node. And normally the logical volumes by CLVM shared story is visible to all nodes to have access to share. So this is different from the LVM. LVM does not support this kind of features, but the CLVM will supply this kind of features for cluster service. And the users can configure logical volume on the share story by the locking access to the physical story during configuring let's I already explained this one DRM this with the rocking uh, service normally can be managed by CLVM as well okay here okay LVM the two metadata and the discount metadata can be created by the CLVM and the each CLVM demo must be working running in each cluster node and this CLVM the demon will distribute to the LV metadata update in each cluster node. And this kind of the CLVM will access this kind of shared striker logical volumes to make the uh, logical volumes. 
GMBD is a global network uh, block device. This is a kind of uh, block device access for to the GFS over using the TSC, uh, TCP IP. GMBD is similar in concept in the MBD network block device, but M network block device like uh, NFS was somebody like this, but GMBD is, is only GFS is the uh, specific for use with the GFS. So the GMB is useful when the need for more robust technology such as the fabric channel or single initiator SCSI. Normally we say the I SCSI. And, and the chapter uh, uh, 4, I will explain the I SCSI. And the GMB has uh, two main components. GMBD client and GMBD server. And the GMBD client run in node with the GFS and the info to the block device export by the GMBD. So GMBD server will the export this kind of block device to GMBD client. So this one are now the export block level the storage from each local storage. And normally this kind of local storage can be uh, attached the okay right so directly attached storage or send storage and the multiple GMBD client can access the device export the GMBD server and uh, this one making GMBD shooter for use by the group of node learning GFS so here GFS 2 GFS 2 GFS 2 GFS and uh, this can GFS 2 will access this kind of the GMBD server uh, as a GMBD client. And uh, this kind of GMBD server can use local storage or send as well to supply the service to uh, cl uh, GMBD client. Cluster uh, administration tools. So I already told you Conga, CCS, FaceMaker, and CCSD Web UI. So I already uh, I show you the, about the Conga. This is a comprehensive GUI tool to install, configure, manage HA, the high availability. And the Lucy normally has, there are two applications. Uh, Conga has two applications, Lucy and the Lucy. Lucy means application server to provide the user interface for the Conga. So this is a kind of GUI tool. Using this one, we can manage cluster service and access as well. This this is a service daemon to manage distribution of cluster configuration. So using this we can pass the configuration detail using Lucy interface. CCS and about the Conga, I will explain Conga in chapter six. CCS cluster configuration system on I will talk this one CLI. Using this we can create, modify, and view this main cluster configuration file. And in CentOS 7, I will, I will use this tool, FaceMaker and the CCSD web UI. The FaceMaker similar to CCA using the command line and the CCSD web UI similar to Conga to use web interface so CentOS 6 to 5 i will use the conga and the ccs and the CentOS 7 i will use uh, web ui and face maker so this is the architecture of the conga conga has two the uh, application lucy and the Lucy, and the lucy must be working and run in the management system using based on the ssl and the uh, Lisi each on the each cluster node, the Lisi must be running inside the cluster. So if the client access the Lucy, uh, Lucy using the browser, then can control this kind of cluster node. And the Lucy will communicate with the Lisi using XML. If we want to access the Lucy, normally we can use like this the protocol HTTPS, your hostname or IP address, and the Lucy will use the port number 8084 as a default. But anytime you can change this kind of port number according to your configuration. Okay, so far I explained the concept of the Linux cluster. So after you finish chapter one, I hope that you can answer this kind of questions.
the what is the cluster what kind of cluster types are there what kind of cluster administration tools are there what are the ha what are the ha the high availability main conference i explained the three kinds main conference and uh, what are ha supplementation come also this is also the three kinds and number six what kind of main fencing method are there in ha i introduced two kinds the fencing method and the seven what kinds of cluster infrastructure functions are there and the tfs2 and the clvm what is the difference so to configure volume management normally we can use gfs2 and clvm okay thanks for watching this video god bless you and see you in chapter two